<laughs> Thanks for listening to A Halloween Spooktacular, a radio drama. If you enjoyed listening to this and other spooky tales, consider donating. Details in the description below. And now on with The Debutante. Featuring Shayna Friedman, Claire Eine Richards, and Petraea Whittier. When I was a debutante, I often went to the zoological garden. I went so often that I was better acquainted with the animals than I was with the young girls of my age. It was to escape from the world that I found myself each day at the zoo. The animal I got to know best was the young hyena. She knew me too. She was extremely intelligent. I taught her French, and she, in return, taught me her language. We spent many pleasant hours in this way. My mother was arranging a ball in my honor to take place on All Hollows Eve. During this time, I was in a state of great distress for whole nights. I've always detested balls, especially when they are given in my honor. On the morning of October 31st, I called upon the hyena for advice. What a mess of shit! I must go to my ball this evening. You're lucky! I would go happily. I do not know how to dance, but after all, I could engage in conversation. There will be a great many things to eat. I have seen wagons loaded entirely with food delivered to our house. And you complain. Just think of me. I eat only once a day, and you can't imagine what a heap of bloody rubbish they stick me with. Well, you have only to go in my place. We do not look enough alike. Otherwise, I would gladly go. Listen, no one sees too well in the evening light. If you disguise yourself, nobody will notice you in the crowd. Besides, we are almost the same size. You are my only friend. I beg you to do this for me. Hmm. It is done. (laughs) (laughs) Wonderful. Now, let me get you out of this cage. Uh, That opened much easier than I thought it would. I do so envy your thumbs. It was very early. Not many zookeepers were about. I opened the cage quickly, and in moments we were out in the street. Taxi! I hailed a taxi. At the house, everyone was still in bed. In my room, I brought out the gown I was to wear that evening. It was a little long, and the hyena walked with difficulty in my high-heeled shoes. I found some gloves to disguise her hands, which were too hairy to resemble mine. By the time the sun was shining into my room, she was able to stroll around the room several times, walking more or less upright. We were so very occupied that my mother, who came to tell me good morning, almost opened the door before the hyena could hide herself under my bed. Oh, darling! Oh, just a moment, mother! Quick, get under the bed! Oh, God, yes! Your tail is sticking oh, out! Oh, come here, you! Oh, it's very cramped. Good morning, mother. Oh, there is a bad odour in the room. Before the ball, you must take a perfumed bath with my new salts. Agreed. Oh, for goodness sake, open the window! Do not be late for your ball this evening, and please take a bath. Oh, oh God. She's an old bat, isn't she? You have no idea. The greatest difficulty was to find a disguise for the hyena's face. We spent hours and hours searching for an answer. She rejected all my proposals. Nope. You have to wear lipstick. Every other girl at the ball will be wearing it. It doesn't match my gums. Well, well, at least let me powder your face. No, no, it'll match my fur. I'm I'm very prone to acne. Well, you can't just go with the face that you have on right now. Oh, 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 I think I know a solution. You have a maid? Yes. Well, that's it. You will ring for the maid, and when she enters, we will pounce upon her and tear off her face. I will wear her face this evening in place of my own. That's not practical. She will probably die when she has no more face. Someone will surely find the corpse, and we will go to prison. I am hungry enough to eat her. 
And the bones. <gasps> Those too. Then it's settled? Only if you agree to kill her before removing her face. It would hurt too much otherwise. Yeah, all right. It's all the same to me. With a certain amount of nervousness, I rang for Mary, my maid. I certainly wouldn't have done it if I didn't hate going to a ball so much. When Mary came in, I turned to the wall so as not to see. I must admit, it didn't take long. <clears throat> I, I cannot eat any more. The two feet are left, but if you have a little bag, I will eat them later in the day. You will find in the wardrobe a bag embroidered with fleur de lis. Remove the handkerchiefs you'll find inside it and take it. <laughs> One foot, two foot. I'm ready. Turn around now and look, because I am beautiful. Before the mirror, the hyena admired herself in Mary's face. She had nibbled very carefully all around the face so that what was left was exactly what was needed. Surely you've certainly done that very well. I really feel in tip-top form. I have a feeling I should be a great success this evening. <laughs> it was now early evening. When we had heard the music from downstairs for quite some time, I turned to my dear friend. Go on down now, and remember, do not stand next to my mother's side. She will surely know that it is not me. Apart from her, I know no one. Best of luck. I embraced her as we parted, but she smelled very strong. Night fell. Exhausted by the emotions of the day, I took a book and sat down by the open window, enjoying peace and quiet. I remember that I was reading Gulliver's Travels by Jonathan Swift. It was perhaps an hour later that the first sign of misfortune announced itself. Ah! A bat flew in through the window, uttering little cries. Oh, I am terribly afraid of bats. I hid behind a chair, my teeth chattering. I had hardly gone down on my knees when the sound of beating wings was overcome by a great commotion at my door. Oh. 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 Mother, what has happened? We just sat down at the table when the thing sitting in your place rose and shouted. I smell a bit strong. What? Well, I do not eat cake. Whereupon it tore off its face and ate it. A great leap and she disappeared out the window. <laughs> oh, 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 oh,